Have you ever wondered how does our body manage to remove all the waste products efficiently without us even noticing? Let's dive into the fascinating world of the human excretory system, where a complex network of organs works tirelessly to maintain our body's internal balance. The excretory system, also known as the urinary system, is essential for removing waste products from our body, regulating water balance, and maintaining the chemical composition of our blood. This intricate system involves various organs, each playing a crucial role in ensuring our body functions smoothly. The primary organs involved are the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Each organ plays a specific role in the excretion process. The kidneys are the main organs of the excretory system. They are bean-shaped and located on either side of the spine, just below the rib cage. Each kidney is about the size of a fist and contains millions of tiny filtering units called nephrons. Nephrons are the functional units of the kidneys. They filter the blood, remove waste products, and regulate the balance of electrolytes and water in the body. Blood enters the kidneys through the renal arteries. These arteries branch into smaller vessels called arterioles, which further divide into a network of capillaries known as the glomerulus. The glomerulus is a cluster of tiny blood vessels where the filtration of blood begins. It is surrounded by a structure called Bowman's capsule. The filtration process in the glomerulus is driven by blood pressure. As blood flows through the glomerulus, small molecules such as water, glucose, amino acids, and waste products pass through the walls of the capillaries and enter Bowman's capsule. This filtrate, now known as glomerular filtrate, is the first step in the formation of urine. From Bowman's capsule, the filtrate enters the renal tubule, which is divided into three main parts, the proximal convoluted tubule, the loop of Henle, and the distal convoluted tubule. Each part of the renal tubule has a specific function in the reabsorption and secretion of various substances. In the proximal convoluted tubule, a significant portion of the filtrate is reabsorbed into the blood. This includes water, glucose, amino acids, and essential ions such as sodium, potassium, and calcium. The reabsorption process is crucial for maintaining the body's fluid and electrolyte balance. The loop of Henle, which descends into the medulla of the kidney, plays a vital role in concentrating the urine. As the filtrate flows through the loop, water is reabsorbed into the surrounding tissues, creating a concentration gradient. This gradient allows for the reabsorption of more water in the collecting ducts, resulting in concentrated urine. The distal convoluted tubule further fine-tunes the composition of the filtrate. It is responsible for the selective reabsorption of ions and the secretion of additional waste products. The final product, now known as urine, enters the collecting ducts, where it is further concentrated before being transported to the bladder. The collecting ducts merge to form larger ducts, which eventually drain into the renal pelvis. From the renal pelvis, urine flows into the ureters, which are muscular tubes that propel the urine towards the bladder through peristaltic contractions. The bladder is a hollow, muscular organ that stores urine until it is ready to be excreted. It can expand and contract to accommodate varying amounts of urine. The walls of the bladder contain stretch receptors that signal the brain when the bladder is full, creating the urge to urinate. When it is time to urinate, the bladder contracts, and urine is expelled through the urethra. The urethra is a tube that connects the bladder to the external opening of the body. In males, the urethra passes through the penis, while in females, it opens just above the vaginal opening. The process of urination is controlled by both voluntary and involuntary muscles. The internal urethral sphincter, located at the junction of the bladder and urethra, is composed of smooth muscle and is under involuntary control. The external urethral sphincter, located further down the urethra, is composed of skeletal muscle and is under voluntary control. This allows us to consciously control the timing of urination. 
In addition to the primary organs, the excretory system also includes accessory organs such as the liver, lungs, and skin. These organs play supporting roles in the elimination of waste products. The liver, for example, detoxifies harmful substances and produces bile, which aids in the digestion and excretion of fats. The lungs remove carbon dioxide, a waste product of cellular respiration, through the process of breathing. The skin eliminates waste products through sweat. The kidneys also play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure. They do this through the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. The kidneys also regulate the production of red blood cells. They produce a hormone called erythropoietin, which stimulates the bone marrow to produce more red blood cells in response to low oxygen levels in the blood. This ensures that the body has an adequate supply of oxygen carrying red blood cells. The excretory system is essential for maintaining homeostasis in the body. Without a properly functioning excretory system, waste products would accumulate in the body, leading to serious health problems. One common condition related to the excretory system is kidney stones. Kidney stones are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form in the kidneys. They can cause severe pain and discomfort when they pass through the urinary tract. Factors such as dehydration, high salt intake, and certain medical conditions can increase the risk of developing kidney stones. Treatment options include medications, lifestyle changes, and in severe cases, surgical removal. Another condition is chronic kidney disease, which is a gradual loss of kidney function over time. Chronic kidney disease can be caused by diabetes, high blood pressure, and other conditions that damage the kidneys. It can lead to a buildup of waste products in the blood, resulting in symptoms such as fatigue, swelling, and high blood pressure. In advanced stages, chronic kidney disease may require dialysis or a kidney transplant to maintain kidney function. Dialysis is a medical procedure that mimics the function of the kidneys by removing waste products and excess fluid from the blood. Understanding the structure and function of the excretory system helps us appreciate the importance of keeping this system healthy through proper hydration, a balanced diet, and regular medical checkups. By taking care of our excretory system, we support our body's ability to maintain homeostasis and overall well-being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.